Hello everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me on another video here on FindingMiddleEarth.com. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on what is in my camera bag now that I switched from Canon to Sony. Um, and also kind of what I keep in my bag since I'm going on vacation tomorrow to Disney World. Um, and I, don't, I probably shouldn't even be making this video because I'm leaving for Disney in like 13 hours and we're going to be driving uh, through the night. So... Um, but, you know, who cares? Whatever. Uh, so there's stuff everywhere. If you can see anything in my office, there's clutter and clothes over here, and there's camera stuff everywhere. Um, but I really wanted to get this video out before the trip because ever since I switched, I've had a lot of emails and people filling out my contact form asking um, why I switched, which I made a video on that. Um, but really, you know, what, I, what all I have now, you know, what I keep in my bag. Um, so if you do want to know everything that I use now, I did update the gear page on my website. So head on over to findingmiddleearth.com slash gear, and everything is there. I, I listed, uh, I'm an open book, so my cameras, my lenses, software, everything. Um, so anyway, before I get into this, you've probably seen my other What's in My Camera Bag video um, when I shot Canon, which was huge backpack and filled with stuff. Um, but if you didn't, I thought it would be kind of fun to go through my kind of my evolution of camera bags over the years. Um, so I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll get into what I have now. So really quickly, this is what I started out with. Um, pretty funny, it's a low pro something, don't ask me the model number because I have no clue how old this thing is. But uh, it pretty much just holds like one camera and a lens and some stuff up here, like a protein bar and uh, filters or whatever. But it, you know, it, it did the job back when I shot with a Nikon D80. Um, and uh, the kit lens, this, this did the job, but that was kind of my go-to bag for like two years, and that is my bag. So I haven't used it since, so we'll chunk that. Next, I went with a uh, Tamrac bag here, and this was actually given to me by uh, a friend of my dad's who does photography as well, so I was very thankful. Uh, if you are watching this, Mr. Larry Klink, thank you very much for giving me this bag. It actually did me well for years. Um, and so this bag is uh, actually pretty nice. It's very water repellent. It's all nylon material. Um, it's got sufficient room inside for a couple of cameras, um, some small lenses and some batteries up here. And it's, it did pretty good. So this is my Tamrac backpack and it's a nice little backpack. It had, you know, places on the sides for water bottles and whatnot, but um, don't really use that as often anymore. So we'll uh, throw that to the side. And then this was my huge behemoth of a camera bag, the Low Pro something. I, again, I have no clue. I just know it's huge. I mean, look how deep this thing is. I mean, it's just ridiculous. This thing can hold like four DSLR cameras, huge lenses. Um, I mean, everything. It can hold clothes in here, laptops, and I mean, everything. A tripod can buckle into the front. This thing is just ridiculous. I mean, just the bag itself feels like it weighed like 50 pounds. So don't use that anymore. Um, but that's kind of, you know, what I've been through. And I'm, there's, you know, a couple more little bags over the years. But now um, I have something new. So let's go and get into it. I switched to uh, a Think Tank retrospective bag. This is a messenger bag type style. But it, it's really, it's actually, like, it has a lot of room in it. It's really surprising, actually. Um, so before I jump into this, um, since I'm kind of like giving you what I use now, before I get into the bag, let's look at some uh, one thing that I don't keep in my bag, which is my new tripod. So before I shot with a, a big Manfrotto tripod um, in which the legs were like $400 and the head was like another 200 and just insanely expensive and just it's uncalled for for my new camera system. So this tiny little guy here, which isn't so tiny when you um, extend the legs and everything, is a uh, Mi Photo Globetrotter tripod. And this guy is actually really cool. So it's got the little, you know, quick release legs, which are awesome. Um, and it'll extend all the way. Let me get it out for you here so I can put my camera on it in a second. But this tripod is carbon fiber, so it's super lightweight, uh, really easy to carry around for places like Disney World, for example, which is where I'm gonna take it. And uh, why not? It comes in colors, so why not go for a cool color? Um, so anyway, this is a, a great tripod. It's, uh, again, like I said, it's green, so if you wanna see a kind of a close-up on that, pretty cool. It's got a ball head still, the Arca Swiss type ball head. Um, 
Just lock the legs in here and we'll set it right here for now. Make sure it's in camera. <clears throat> and let me make sure, there we go. Cool, don't want that tipping over. So anyway, that is my Mifoto Globetrotter tripod. I absolutely love that thing. It's so light and it's just so much easier to deal with than uh, the old Manfrotto tripod that I have. So this, like I said, is a uh, Think Tank retrospective messenger bag. It's made out of canvas. So it's very nice material, it's very uh, durable. So let's jump right in, shall we? Let me, um, before I do this, I'm gonna um, readjust the camera so that you can kind of point down at the bag. So uh, I'll meet you in another camera angle in like two seconds. I'm gonna swap the camera because I don't have a film crew, although I wish I, I did. So one second and I will meet you back here in the office and we'll look at the camera. All right, cool. So now that I got the camera uh, kind of resituated and um, hopefully a little closer to the bag and a little better angle. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. So, uh, I love, the first thing I love about it is that on the inside of the, uh, flap here is you have the option. Think Tank gives you the option to make the Velcro to kind of cover it up. So it's a silent open and close in the bag because especially when I'm shooting like street photos, nobody wants to be walking down the street and have to get out their camera, you know, you're about to take a, take a photo of someone like sleeping on a bench or something and you go, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, it's uh, not gonna work out too well. So anyway, they allow you to, ah, I hate that sound, they allow you to cover these up like this so that when you open and close, it's just super silent and it just throws over the bag, which I pretty much always keep it like that because I hate Velcro. So uh, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Before we dig in, you're probably wondering what I have on the outside of the bag. This is my main camera, love it to death. This is the Sony a7R. Um, 36 megapixel full frame camera, unbelievable. Just unbelievable photos come out of this thing. The detail is just stupid. Um, I can print the size of like my bedroom wall with this thing. So anyway, love this camera. Um, the reason it's hanging on the outside, by the way, or I guess I should say how it's hanging on the outside is the um, capture, I think is what it's called, from the company uh, Peak Design. Love this company, they're really cool. I, I read about them online on another photographer's blog and ever since I found out about it, my gosh, I'm obsessed with them, they're amazing. So um, just this little Arca Swiss tripod plate just kind of snaps right into the side of the bag. Super easy, that way I always have very quick access to my camera, I don't have to worry about it falling off because this thing is really nice and secure. And um, yeah, it just, it just pretty much hangs there all the time so that I I'm, you know, I'm, uh, never miss a shot. So anyway, let's. Take that off for a second. I'm gonna sit this on the tripod over here while I'm getting the rest of my stuff out. Okay, let's get that out of the way for a second. Make sure that's in nice and tight. Okay, cool. So let's dig in. I guess we'll dig into the next camera here. Let me get it out. So the next camera that's coming out is the Sony A7 uh, Mark II. And this one just came out this year sometime, not, uh, I don't know, I think February or so. This, this thing is awesome as well. So this is a uh, 24 megapixel full frame sensor, but the huge selling point with this one is that it has in-body image stabilization. So I can shoot in low light at slow shutter speeds, handheld without a tripod and uh, be perfectly fine and get sharp images. And then on it, I have a, um, if you, I don't know if you can see that too well or not, but on it, I have a really right stuff uh, L bracket so that I can quickly take it off the tripod from the bottom and then put it on the tripod here without having to actually like tilt the tripod down. It has a tripod plate on the bottom and the side so that it's just very quick from landscape to vertical. So that is that. I'm going to set that down. Where to set it down? I'll set it down right here for a second. Okay. Oh, and I'm sorry. I, I totally forgot to mention lenses. On the uh, A7R over here, I have the Zeiss uh, 55 millimeter f1.8 prime lens unbelievable lens that's probably one of my favorite lenses in my back is the the sharpness that comes from that lens is just unparalleled um, on the sony a7 II that i have in my hand is the uh, zeiss 16 to 35 f4 another ridiculously sharp lens it's one of the only wide angle lenses i've used actually that i'm like super happy with um, Typically with wide angle lenses, you'll get like crazy distortion in the corners of the image or the corners will be very soft or something will go wrong, something like that. This one is just beautiful. So 
Zeiss 16 to 35, Sony A7 Mark II. And then my last lens, and you're probably thinking, what, last lens, you only have three lenses? Yes, uh, you don't really need much equipment anymore these days with this new technology. Um, I know when I shot Canon, I had like 100 lenses and they just, you know, I, I used like three of them, so I didn't really need them. So this one here is the Sony 70 to 200 F4 um, G O S S. Uh, the OSS stands for optical steady shot, which is means it's image stabilized as well. So I can shoot at lower light with this lens and it has a built in stabilizer, um, which helps, you know, even out the vibration from my hands, the handshake. So anyway, uh, 70 to 200 Sony F4, another awesome lens. Um, I, it's, it's kind of funny actually going from Canon to Sony. There's not really, I don't really have a problem with any of my lenses anymore, which is great. Cause why, why should you spend thousands of dollars on stuff and not have, you know, and, and not like it, you know, like to its fullest extent, I love all my stuff now. It's, I don't think I've ever been happier with all my camera equipment. So what's going to come out next? Let's see. Uh, Absolutely cannot live without this. The two terabyte Thunderbolt uh, Lacey drive or Lacey, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I just, this thing, I mean, it's, it has all my stuff on it whenever I go anywhere away from my like mothership computer that holds all my stuff. So in Disney, I'll be backing up every single day on this guy. Um, and then I have another one of these that I keep. Uh, it's not in here right now, but it's probably in my suitcase or something. But I have another one of these that I do another backup on. So. While I'm in Disney or on any kind of vacation, I have the photos on my computer, like on my laptop. I have them on this drive, and then I have them on another one of these drives. So I have three, I have them in three places, just in case, because you never know. Um, so two terabyte Thunderbolt drive, it's super fast. I can edit right off of it. It's just unbelievable. It's never failed me. Um, what else in here? Some Zeiss lens cleaning wipes. And these are just, uh, it's non-alcoholic wipes, so you can, you know, clean the, um, the glass of the lens with it. It also works on eyeglasses, like it says on the front, so I use them all the time for my eyeglasses as well. So that comes in handy. And these are, this is a 60-pack of wipes. I think it's like $2 if you order them online. So I'm just like, why not? Two bucks. So there's that. Um, what else in here? This here, it's a Peak Design bag. What's going to come out? Uh, it's, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's right. So this is another... Um, capture unit, just like how I was hanging my camera on my bag. I just keep an extra one just in case. Not that I, not that I have any fear that this will break. Uh, it's really only if I switch to like a, another bag or something, which I shouldn't, but if I ever switch to another bag, I might want to put this like on the strap of the bag or something and carry my camera there instead of having to take this one off. But uh, this bag has a little loop right here that, that works perfect with it. So, you know, I just keep two because if I do want to use another one, I don't want to have to always take this one off and rig it to another bag. So I have an extra capture uh, and uh, plate in there. So there's that. What else? Got my boring stuff on my body caps and lens caps. Um, in here, I have my uh, wireless remote for uh, wirelessly triggering, triggering the shutter um, if I want to do a long exposure or if I, you know, if it's really dark outside. Like in Disney, I love doing night photography. So I don't, you know, I don't want to hold my hand over the camera and, you know, chance it shaking if I'm doing a 30 second exposure or something. So I have that in there. Um, I think that's it in the main compartment, believe it or not. That's probably it. Uh, oh, wait, nope. Of course, I'm forgetting this here. In the back, yes, this messenger bag also holds a 13-inch MacBook Pro Retina display. Look at the beauty. It's unbelievable. So um, this is the 256 gig flash storage. Um, this handles me perfect while I'm on the road. It, it has my Photoshop Creative Cloud on it. Uh, I use it hand-in-hand -hand every day with the uh, Lacey um, backup drive and I have to have this if I don't. And then, of course, obviously keeping up the blog on uh, FindingMiddleEarth.com. I have to blog every day and, and try to, you know, keep that consistent and answer people's questions and stuff. So that is my kind of my life um, when I'm away from home. That's my portal to the Internet. So we'll set that there for a second. And that is it in the main compartment. So I don't know if you can see how much stuff that holds. It's crazy. It's got all these little, I mean, nooks everywhere. So... That is that. And now I'm going to open the uh, front portion here. And this does have Velcro, which I, mean, I don't mind because I, I very rarely go in here. But 
This little front part has Velcro and what will come out. Uh, these are um, gloves if, you know, obviously I'm not going to use them in Disney World because we're going to Florida. But with fall and winter coming, uh, kind of coming up in Georgia, I always keep a pair of gloves in my bag at all times just in case. Um, because if your hands get cold and start shaking, it does affect your photos. And I'll show you how these work. They're actually really cool real quick. Um, if you put them on, uh, you can still get to all of your camera settings because the thumb is magnetic. It actually snaps back there. And then this one is the same way. It sticks. To, so that you can, um, uh, you know, maneuver around your camera controls and whatever without having to maybe, you know, worry about hitting two or three buttons at the same time with these big bulky gloves. So anyway, that's nice. And then just tuck the fingers back in, keep your hands warm again, and you're good to go. So those are the gloves. What else in here? Uh, this is another um, shutter release, kind of like that wireless one that I showed you, but this is a wired one. And the only difference um, really in between this wireless one in here and the wired one is that I'm able to autofocus with this one. So I can hold this shutter button down halfway and it'll actually focus the camera for me. Whereas that one um, is just going to focus on whatever really quickly and then it'll just take the shot all in one, um, you know, one constant or one movement really. I, you know, I, this one I can hold and focus and hold and refocus or whatever and move the focus point around and then take the shot when I want. With the wireless one, I just press the button and it focuses and shoots all in one thing. So my wireless shutter release, or my wired shutter release. Um, this is more um, little dividers for the bag in here that Think Tank throws in for free. Uh, I just keep them in just in case I want to reconfigure my bag, but everything's kind of configured perfect for me right now. So, um, but I keep them in there just in case, you never know. So that's more dividers. We'll put those right there. And then obviously battery chargers um, and I don't have them in here right now which that's really good that I found out but I have six ex excuse me I have six extra batteries for my Sony cameras um, because they're they're awesome cameras but they eat batteries like it's me and Chinese food they just they just my gosh they consume batteries like nobody's business so two battery chargers and I have six batteries total for everything um, put those there. What else is in here? And this is also really cool. This um, think tank throws in for free as part of the bag. It's a rain cover for your bag. So if you do get caught in like a monsoon that, you know, very, it might um, ruin your canvas material. It shouldn't, but if it does, you know, like really hard rain, you don't want to chance your equipment getting wet. This is a quick uh, rain cover that comes out and just wraps around your bag and keeps everything waterproof basically. So that's really nice of them to throw that in. That was a huge selling point for me on this bag really. Um, I love that. And then I think I have one more thing in here. Where is it at? Right here. This is my um, think tank. I think they call it a pocket rocket, but this just keeps all of my SD cards in it. So it just folds out like a wallet and my SD cards go right in there. So it folds back up and it has a little clip on there so you can clip it to your, I don't know, your camera bag inside. You can clip it to like a belt or belt loop or something. But anyway, that's nice. I think that is everything um, with this bag. So yeah, but I hope you're kind of impressed because these Think Tank bags can hold a lot of stuff. Um, so that's what I kind of keep everything in. So now if I'm walking, you know, if I'm going to be going to, like, for example, Disney World this week, and I'm going to be, and I know me and my wife are going to be doing, like, a full day, like, going to three parks, staying there from, like, 9 a.m. to, like, midnight, then I might not take this whole bag. Um, I do have, like, a separate day bag, and so I'll show you that really quickly. Let me take this off. Uh, it's right here. Um, so this here is the Tenba Switch 10 is what it's called. And this one is kind of like a, just a small messenger bag. I like this one a lot. Um, the cool thing about this one actually is, let me show you, that you don't actually have to flip um, the cover over to access your equipment. It actually has a zipper right here on top. So you can just dive right into the bag and not have to worry about you know, taking the flap um, over. So I like that. Uh, it also has the little loops here, right here for the capture device so that I can put this thing on there 
and hold my camera on the outside as well. So it has a lot of the same features as that one. It's just much smaller and it's nice for just like a little day bag. So I can just put like one camera, one lens, maybe my shutter release and good to go. So there's that. And then a couple of other like little things that I don't keep in my bag or, or that, you know, that aren't in my bag right now. I always keep uh, my circular polarizer and uh, a couple of filter threads just so I can, you know, if I want to do some long exposure, I have like a nine stop filter that I can screw on the lens and I always keep a circular polarizer with me because anytime I shoot water, I hate glare on water. So circular polarizers fix that completely. Um, so anyway, I always have those little filters with me. And the last thing I wanted to show everybody, let me get my A7R here off the tripod. I have a new um, camera strap. So let me show you my old one first. So this is the Black Rapid camera strap. Let me set my camera down. Uh, this is the Black Rapid. So if I put this on, my camera, and sorry if I'm bumping the microphone here. I don't know if you're going to hear all this nonsense. But um, if I normally put my camera on here, it, it, it's nice that it moves, you know, on this thing here. It connects here and it kind of moves up and down. So it, it is very quick because if I have my camera hanging, I can come up really quick and shoot with it and then drop it. But because it moves, every time I walk, it just bounces off my side and it, you know, twirls around and it was just so annoying. So, uh, of course, the company Peak Design, who made this little capture device that I was telling you about, came out with another option, a better option. Let me chunk that. This is called the Peak Design Slide, I think. And I hope I'm not butchering these names because Peak Design is awesome, but um, this unit is called the Slide. And the coolest thing about this, um, which will probably answer a question for you because you're probably wondering what, what the heck is going on with my camera here, these little things hanging off the top and bottom. But these actually snap into the strap here. So I just snap these little things in and then I let my camera hang. Let me back up so you can see. And it stays in one place because it's not on this like thing that, you know, this, this thing that slides up and down the strap. So I just, you know, put it behind me and I can walk back and forth, turn around. It doesn't bounce off my body and turn around in circles. And it has a nice grip right here on the uh, shoulder, like a kind of like a rubberized grip so that it doesn't, so the actual, you know, the whole strap doesn't slide. So anyway, I love all my new camera gear. Um, my new bag, the Think Tank bag, I hope I, I think I got everything. Uh, I hope I did anyway. If you guys do have any other questions or anything, um, feel free to let me know. Um, again, if you guys ever want to, um, you know, shoot, or if you guys ever want to find out why I started shooting Sony, um, I'll post a video or a link to the video so that you can see my switch from Canon to Sony video, because a lot of people will probably be asking me that if they did miss that blog post. Um, so I did make a whole video on it, don't worry. Um, but anyway, I'm loving it. I'm still loving it. I switched about a month ago now, and Sony is just my saving grace. Love the company. I'm not sponsored by Sony in any way, by the way. I'm not saying that I wouldn't love to be. So if Sony's watching this, but I'm not sponsored by Sony, uh, but I do love their equipment. It just works. It works very well. So thank you guys so much for watching another video. Uh, please stay tuned on my website, findingmiddleearth.com. There on the blog, I'm sure I'll be posting a lot of stuff about my Disney trip, and I'm going to try my best to post at least a photo uh, every day or every other day while I'm down there. So thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful week, and take care.